It's half past ten in the morning, and I'm already filming my second intro of the day. This is uh, rather unusual this for me. This time we don't have a Will. Will, Will has no, gone. No, Will has, Will has Will's vanished. Left us to go He's disappeared. <laughs> elsewhere, but just us two, and we're going to... Every single station in Bristol. In one day. For those who don't understand what the hell we are talking about, uh, go ahead and watch our Ashley Down opening. Because funnily enough, we're at Ashley Down Station right now. Which opened today, yeah. Yeah, funnily enough. So to begin, 10.55 service to Bristol Temple Meads. So for clarification, we are visiting every station within the ceremonial county of Bristol, which contains 14 stations, as shown on screen now. So very temporarily, we've got a, a bit larger of a group joining us. We'll but say goodbye to some of them at Bristol. Probably. Yes, probably. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there's a there's a there's a this hey, screen Jack. and then. Look at squash Jack. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. <laughs> Okie dokie, Bristol Temple Meads. So we need to decide now where we're going because we don't actually really have a plan for how we're doing this. We're going to make it up as we go. Yes, exactly. It appears while we're killing time, we are trying to find the new entrance, but do you say that's the new entrance? Yeah. Wow. What a good what a good new entrance. Thank you for showing us this. This is uh, this is wonderful. So uh, we've decided that we're going to go to Parsons Street and Bedminster stations first because there's a train leaving to Western Supermare, which calls at them in a few minutes. So we'll make our way there. Right. Well, we're saying goodbye to Robin Stew now. Goodbye. What? Yeah. See you at the pub. Yeah. Of course. Of course. <laughs> So, go to Parson Street, and then we have around seven minutes until the next train that goes the other way, and we go to Bedminster, but the services to that station are hourly, so we're going to have to essentially walk from... Walk back to Bristol yeah. Temple, it's about a 20 minute walk, it's not too bad. Yeah, it so. shouldn't be too bad. I mean, these are, you know, most of the stations are going to be half hourly because of the Seven Beach Avonmouth line. So yeah. it should be okay. We have said goodbye to Stu and Rob, yes. but we've still got Jack in the yes, back. Yes, we've still got Jack. <laughs> Jack in the back. <laughs> Jack's here. Jack in the back. Okay, well, bye Jack. See you in maybe December. Yes. We'll, we'll find out. <laughs> right, Parsons Street. We're going to be seeing a lot of networker turbos today. Okay, time to uh, turn around and go to Bedminster. And then we'll have to find out what we do after that, because we're gonna, we're gonna walk to Temple Meads from Bedminster around 20 minutes. That's a very busy train. Although clearly not too busy that we couldn't get a seat. I'll take that. I think the middle carriage were just like super busy. I think people probably didn't walk to the back one. <laughs> Okay, well, bring on Bedminster, <laughs> and then the walk, yeah. Funnily enough, we are approaching Bedminster. So how do we actually walk to Temple Meads from here? Hello. are we? Give me a second. We go right and then... Well, I think... Yeah, there's a, there's a, closed, there's a closed, closed road, so we need to be mindful of that. So we've got to go around this way, which is about 25 minutes instead. But... That should be fine. Ah, the River Avon, which, uh, fun fact, literally translates to the River River. I'm having to be somewhat mindful of my... Uh, battery power on this camera because I've got three batteries for the camera. I spent one of them to film the Ashley Down opening and so I've got to use these two to film this video. So I'm having to uh, ask, find ways to conserve battery where possible. Oh would you look at that, it's Temple Meads. How nice. Like only having this be like the second time I've been to Bristol Temple Meads not including like earlier today. 
it's I, I can definitely say that it's a re really really pretty station it looks just like a castle let's see if the zone a ranger works no it does not of course there we are cool thank you okay well we're at temple meads now um what is the plan from here we're going so, to get a even mouth service in like eight yeah. minutes or so we're basing this entirely off of just what's leaving soon when we get here so uh, <laughs> because that's an even mouth service we're going to go further than we're not going to cut like do we'll do Stapleton, Stapleton Road, Road Lawrence, Lawrence Hill, Hill later because they get yeah. a lot more services yeah they shouldn't be too difficult so we'll just get the the slightly less frequent ones out the way first okay well it's a three car so you know what that means declassified first again <laughs> So, we are getting the beginnings of a plan for uh, ticking off the seven beach line stations. What we, uh... So, on this train, we are going to go to Polway Park and Ride, and then, because of a short walk to Shirehampton, we're going to walk to there first. Yes. Yeah, on this line, we don't go all the way to Seven Beach, because Seven Beach Station isn't in the county of Bristol. Um, so, we'd have to go all the way to St Andrews Road. Uh, but there are a couple of cancelled trains later, so we do need to keep that in mind and hope we don't get scuppered by them, or at least try to minimise it best we can. You can see part of the old uh, Porter's Head line alignment. I really hope that does reopen at some point, that'd be nice. So, um, we're going from Portway Park and Ride to Shire Hampton. But the thing is, we'll only have around 11 minutes to walk between Port Park and Ride and Shirehampton before the next train comes. So, oh dear, oh dear. Um, I hope we make it. We're in the right part of the train though for reaching the exit of Port Park and Ride. Any sort of, you know, optimization we can get. Anyway, I'll get ready to get off. Right, well nice to be back at Portway Park and Ride again. Would love to stay, but uh, yeah, we gotta get a quick move on. Here's an exit I had uh, no idea actually existed, so we ended up using the other exit for the station anyway. I wouldn't be surprised if it's delayed. Yeah. Because of the turbulence. We were we were like three minutes late coming into Portway, so there's a chance. So we literally just turn right here, and then the station's there. My God, these stations are very close together. Wow, yeah, that was fast. Shire Hampton. Nice. We actually made it. Good. Plan isn't scuppered yet. Ah, too easy. Nice. I'm a bit sweaty, my hair's very frizzy. Yeah, admittedly I am a bit thirsty after that. <laughs> I'm gonna need some water. Do not try to board or leave the train. So next up, it's time to see the mills. Or, or rather, go the, to see mills. Or wait at the station <laughs> for 10 minutes for the next train. <laughs> yeah. Sea mills. So, we have about 10 minutes here until the next train to Seven Beach. Um, we're going to use that train to go to St Andrews Road, which is the only... Uh, hourly service station we have left. There's a pretty cool mural on this wall here though. So that's something cool to look at. There's also a nice little uh, stories from C Mills poster. I uh, can't read it all out on video, but uh, here's a uh, shot of it where you can pause the video and uh, take a look at it if you want. This is a Great Western Railway service to the next station is Shirehampton. Right, so as our uh, impromptu plan keeps progressing, next we're going to go to St Andrews Road. Here's uh, Avonmouth, where um, well, half the trains terminate. It seems to be down this line, it's two an hour to Avonmouth, but one of which continues to Seven Beach. Approaching St Andrews Road. We're entering uh, abomination industrial area. <laughs> All right, well, St Andrews Road, a station that by the name you'd think could be, you know, 
a nice little cute station in some village somewhere, but no, it's, it, uh, it's, it's kind of the opposite. You're in a huge industrial estate. Yeah, but I mean, hey, silver lining. You can see whales. Which is quite nice. Right, well that's probably the station with the worst service we had left. So uh, yeah, we now just need to walk to uh, Avonmouth and we'll continue down the line. It's so bright now, when you get to this time of year and the sun is like getting lower down and I have to walk towards it, I have to squint. It's not nice. Okay, we made it to Avonmouth. We had, uh, actually funnily enough, 21 minutes to do a 21 minute walk between the two stations. We've got here with about six minutes to spare though. I think so. we took a couple of uh, slight shortcuts from yeah. Google Maps. There was one time, like around the roundabout, it wanted to go, wanted us to go left, but we saw that it was hard to cross the road, so we went right and it saved That's, us a couple times. Yeah. We're getting very good at these quick connections. <laughs> platforms at Avonmouth are so long compared to how much is actually used of them. Like, so more than half of them is disused platform. Right, well, because I've already forgotten what you told me, uh, what are the, what's the next station we're going to? We're getting off at Montpellier, and then... Montpellier, okay. We are going to walk to Redland. We have about 17 minutes, well, 20 minutes to do it, but with the current delay of three minutes, we have 17 minutes to do a 13 minute walk. Should be plenty of time. Yeah. At least it's not quite as close as the couple yeah. ones we've done Escalade in the past. is saying, interrupting us. Uh, yeah, we're about three minutes late at the moment, so, but it should still be fine, hopefully. Welcome aboard this Great Western Railway Service to Western Supermare. Hey, so I heard that there was a new GWR station opening today. Um, although there is nobody here, I uh, might have come to the wrong this one. Is. We're already about to get 10 stations done already, out of the 14 in Bristol. Well, they're all quite close together, and the yeah. half hourly service plus like walking, it makes it go a lot faster. Yeah, it's really flown by, I'm surprised. <laughs> Some rather nice views here. Huh. Right, so, Montpellier. Okay, well, um, thanks to us taking a wrong exit out of the station and a few minutes delay on the train, we now only have one minute of padding between the estimated walk time and the train connection. So time to do this for a third time. Oh no, a hill. Why must it have to be a hill? Okay, we made it to Redland Station in time. Hurrah! Do not try to board or leave the train. We've had unfortunate events because of our train here being delayed. It ended up being delayed, so our speed walk wasn't even needed. Uh, yeah, we've now got to wait half an hour at Clifton Down. Right, so we have... Uh, Run out of luck for now. Uh, yeah, half an hour wait at Clifton Down. I'll see you in approximately half an hour. Okay, so that's every station on the well, exclusive to the seven beach line that's within Bristol. Yes, you know, I know Lawrence Hill and Stapleton Road get served by it, but they're but not they only have there. All the trains as well. Yeah. And funnily enough, they're the only two we actually have left to do. Yep. So let's uh, make our way over there. Definitely beginning to get uh, rather knackered. Two videos in one day and, you know, waking up at half six in the morning for a station opening as well. It uh, really takes a toll. We are now approaching Stapleton Road. We're getting there, Stapleton Road. Only after this is Lawrence Hill. So, uh, yeah. We're, 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 we're so close. We're so close. We can do this. We've got this. I, I forgot how big the step down here was. It's 
So time to walk to our final station we need, which is Lawrence Hill. And oh, hi Jen. Oh, hello. Fancy uh, seeing you here. Uh, it appears you're uh, are you also walking to Lawrence Hill by any chance? Um, possibly. Possibly. It's not like it's not what a, we do. What a funny coincidence. This is the second time we're actually filming something like this because we've already got one for your video. <laughs> Except my video is going out about three months before yours. Yes, I have a backlog. Yes. I mean, I do as well. I'm just putting this out after my Ashley Down video because continuity, I suppose. So, um, we've actually just decided to do different routes to get to Lawrence Hill. You're taking a sort of more scenic route, aren't you? Of course, it's me. Yes, of course. Um, so, yes. Oh, brief, good, Very good brief bye. interaction, but yes. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> See you next time, yeah. whenever that may be. <laughs> Off to Lawrence Hill for us. Well, you're not going to believe this, but to walk between these two stations, we have around 22 minutes to do a 23 minute walk. Or was it 23 minutes to do a 22 minute walk? I don't know. It's basically the same thing, but <laughs> the fourth one of these walks. Ah, oh, this never gets old. Ah, oh, yes, there it is. It's just down the road. We're so close. Ah, oh, Lawrence Hill. Finally. We're not actually done though yet because we still have to actually get the train out of here. But then after that, we'll be complete. Oh, well, we did it. Every station in Bristol. Finally. We'll just head to uh, Temple Meads now and then we'll be done. There it is. All 14 stations within the county of... Pretty sure it's classified as some sort of county. Or the city of Bristol. So, yeah. All in one day. It was very chaotic making some of those connections. Fun, chaotic and very tiring, admittedly, but <laughs> yeah. still, it's a cool achievement. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video before I get interrupted by this announcement. Goodbye. Bye. And of course, a huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now, and a warm, warm welcome to my new first class member, thank you so much, Thaddeus Grundy. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel.